In the post-war 1940s, Florida's allure brought waves of visitors and new residents, and that meant more drivers on the road. Free-roaming cattle became a hazard, and the open green spaces that originally attracted the early settlers were closed off as Florida became the last state to require fencing for its cattle in 1949. At the same time, Cecil Whaley Sr. was sculpting a showcase ranch in Osceola County, balancing native woodlands with improved Bahia grass pastures. He began a three-pasture rotational grazing system for his herd while maintaining stunning migratory corridors for the area's wildlife. Environmental stewardship has been a, a, a part of this ranch from the beginning. I've taken what my grandfather started and I think I've enhanced it even more, but with environmental stewardship, you have, to, you have to see the benefits of what it does and know that everything you're doing is only helping enhance our operation. In the early 2000s, Shane Platt continued to expand on his grandfather Cecil's vision. Together with the National Resources Conservation Service, he developed a plan for the 1,200-acre ranch that would maximize production without sacrificing the environmental quality of the land or water that Mr. Whaley worked hard to protect. Kissimmee Park Properties, the 250-head cow-calf operation, still relies on rotational grazing to feed its cattle, but in a more efficient way. Putting up over five miles of cross fencing, Shane subdivided the original three pastures into 15 smaller, more productive ones. Now the cattle feed in the pasture for only a short time, usually three to seven days, then rotate to another pasture that hasn't been grazed for about three weeks, which allows the grasses to regrow. The improved rotational grazing has enabled the ranch to increase its herd size by two thirds with no additional acreage or other inputs. To provide fresh water to the cattle grazing in the new pastures, Shane ran two miles of water lines and installed six 1,150-gallon troughs. He takes when he's actually implementing his management. Uh, he's very observant. Uh, he picks things up really, uh, really quickly and is able to go out there and address them at that time. Shane applied this same proactive approach to his 60 acres of citrus groves. While freezes, hurricanes, canker, and now greening make it an extremely challenging venture, he is committed to growing citrus. Since 2010, the ranch has planted 5,000 replacement trees. To irrigate and fertilize the trees, Platt installed a low-volume jet irrigation system. This method of fertilizing not only allows the young trees to come into production a year earlier, it reduces the number of dry fertilizer applications by one-fourth. In its first year of use, Platt saw a 40% increase in his crop. With the same dedication the Platts put into caring for the land, they put into caring for the water making up two and a half miles of the ranch's southern border is Lake Tehovacalaiga, the headwaters of the northern Everglades. Any runoff from lands around the lake could have a detrimental impact downstream. For its part, Kissimmee Park Properties follows a strict set of best management practices to ensure that the water leaving the ranch meets quality standards established by the state. The pine, oak, and cypress hammocks that run along its natural lakefront ridge and throughout the ranch serve as excellent wildlife habitat. To protect and enhance the corridors and pastures, the ranch follows a three-pronged brush management program. Roller chopping rids the pastures of unwanted brush. To control invasive exotic plants, Platt has partnered with the NRCS and others to control plants like the pervasive Chinese tallow tree that can render the corridors impassable. Shane, let's go over this paperwork. To reduce the potential for wildfire and improve desirable vegetation, Platt partnered with the Florida Forest Service, who designed a controlled burning program for the ranch. 
and he's come in here with uh, mechanical treatments such as chopping. He's also been burning. That combination of burning and chopping has really enhanced his timber resource out here and his, his wildlife considerations. The ranch has a diverse wildlife population that includes a number of rare and threatened species. The riches of the ranch's habitat have allowed the Platts to open its gates to a number of worthy programs. They participated in the Wounded Warrior Project, providing deer hunts for disabled military veterans. The Platts also host annual hunts for charities and scholarship funds that promote agriculture. Kissimmee Park Properties has been designated a Century Pioneer Family Farm, recognizing the family for over 100 years of continuous farm ownership as the original stewards of the land. It's a role they feel very strongly about. Well, in business, stewardship means protecting assets and resources. But here on the ranch, it's similar, but the resources that we're protecting are the natural resources that God created. So I think, I think we can only improve. Um, there's always new research that comes out. There's always new technologies. There's always something that we can do better. Uh, we look at a piece of property and we see the opportunity to ranch, the opportunity to do what we love, because for us it's, it's not about the money, it's about what we get to do with this piece of property. We love to ranch, we love citrus. It started because of the love of agriculture and ranching, and it's the reason why we continue to do what we do.